Moxie Gamers, welcome to Tiny Rails. This is just a little game that I decided to pick up and share with you guys, and we'll see how much you like it. I don't know how long I'll play this for, it depends on how much more you all want to see. But what we have here is our little starter train. I have gone through the tutorial, so you don't have to sit through that with me. And we're basically going from station to station, get uh, delivering passengers, all that sort of thing, doing quests, making money. Oh, and apparently demolishing rocks. Huzzah! And yeah, so the my biggest complaint about this game so far is the completely obnoxious voice sound that they have, and unfortunately there's no way for me to turn that off. The only thing I can do is click on the text as quickly as possible so that we don't have to hear that horrible sounding noise. Alright, so... We want to sell the cargo. Okay, we got some cargo from that rock that we just destroyed. That seems a little sketchy, yeah! We're gonna just pick up garbage that was on the train tracks and we'll sell it to other people and say that it was cargo? <laughs> sure, why not? There's some more cargo for us. What's up, Chief? The name's Hank. We do our best to keep these tracks clear. Every once in a while, you might find the tracks blocked. That's where my TNT comes in. I've added my track clearing to your services list. If you've, a, if you've got the gold, flip the switch and I'll clear obstacles automatically. You got it, Hank. Most employees also offer passive services that improve as you level them up. How do you level them up, you ask? The job board. Did someone mention jobs? I've got some leads on a bunch of odd jobs you can do for people all around the world. And so let's check out our jobs, which is basically quests. Alright, so what do we got here? We, okay, have this clear the track of obstructions. We will accept that. And... Did we not already... Were we considered completing that? Yes, okay, there we are. We'll collect a reward for that job and see what else is on here. No jobs. No, I'm not gonna pay a hundred coins to refresh the job board. What about our quest log? Make a stop at Baltimore, Maryland. We could do that. Oh! Mo uh, moments are special events you'll find while you travel. Capture them to earn rewards. Okay. No! Stop it with the talking! Alright, that's just our little stats thing. So there's not really much we do between- whoops, I guess I could be collecting my money here. This is where our passengers are paying for food and entertainment. But yeah, there's not much we do in between the stations other than collect our gold and we can repair and clean our trains but it doesn't really seem like we need to do too much of that right now. You can see the little wrench icon and cleaning icon here to see how far along they are and you're likely to make more money from passengers. They'll be happier to board a train that is nice and clean. So you know what? I guess we will go ahead and clean everything. There we are. Okay, so... We should be able to sell the cargo we found to the station's market. We ought to make a nice profit. Okay... I guess uh, we don't have a choice. We gotta sell the steel. Whoa! That does seem like quite a bit of money there. This market is selling apples for less than the going rate. We should buy some and see if we can make a profit later on. I don't know how we see exactly what the going rate is. Oh, it just says sale, I guess. I've added my services to the services menu. If you have the gold and you toggle it on, I'll lower the market refresh rates. Okay, toggle his service on. Give it a try if you're looking for cargo deals or markets that might be paying a premium for things in your inventory. Okay. Will do. Thank you, sir. I guess we'll go ahead and... Oh, okay, we've hit our max cargo limits. Well, how about we sell some more of this steel? I don't think we actually build anything in this game, so the only purpose of 
this cargo is to resell it at a later time, I guess? It would be cool if it was like, uh, the game Empire Builder. I don't know if you guys have ever played that game. It's one of my favorite board games where you draw your routes on a map and- Ah, okay, hang on. Our first VIP passenger, they pay bonus gold. Adding additional cars to your train increases your chance to have VIPs board. Alright. Anyway, yeah, Empire Builder is a, a fun board game. If you guys are into board games, you should check it out sometime. Um, so what is, what is it that it wants us to do at Providence? Or is that just the direction we're headed? We want to go over here to Baltimore for our quest, but... Oh, here we go. Cargo demand. Interesting. All right, so it is kind of like Empire Builder. That's cool. None of these actually have a cargo demand of anything. I have a, One of them has paper. There's a fish. That's really far away, though. So we're gonna go... We're just gonna go west. I don't want to... I don't know if it will... If I set Maryland as my final... Okay, we're gonna try setting... Trent in New Jersey as our waypoint. I don't know if that means we're not going to stop at anything in between, and I definitely want to stop and pick up passengers. So we'll just go ahead and try this, see if it's going to allow us to do anything in New York. All right. Next, I will show you guys the gumball machine. Actually, we could do that right now while we're traveling. Okay, we are going to stop in New York, it looks like. So here, we can purchase train cars, basically. And it's just sort of a random thing that we get here. Yellow passenger car. We can carry six passengers. Okay, good deal. Um, as you might have guessed... There are weight limits on our trains. Whoops, let's gather our money, not let that sitting there at maximum. Um, we have... Here's our current weight, 18%. If we go over 100%, I believe it is, then our train will either slow down, I think, or eh, something bad will happen. I can't remember what right now. Can we actually add this while we're moving? Oh, looky there, we can. Okay. So yeah, that jumped us up to 66% already. Oh, look at that. It actually kind of looks like we're going into New York. I don't know if this is just a coincidence that it looks like we're in this city now, or if it's doing that on purpose. I guess we can find out at some point. How about we check out what other jobs we might have? Wait. Cost 20 gold every one hour. I don't know if that's game time or... Probably game time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, where was our jobs? That's just services. Is that what he meant by jobs? Well, I already can't remember where it was that we clicked on jobs. But here we are in New York anyway. What do we have in the market? We should buy this stuff according to the demands of the next city we're going to. So, let's start with, we've got three slots left. Let's see if this place has anything that any of these other cities are demanding. Pigs, chicken, corn, and lemons. I don't think I saw any of that in here, did I? Nope, definitely not. Alright, so we'll, I guess, drop the apples off just because those will be a slight profit from when we bought them. And, yeah, I think that's it for now. Okay, we also have an upgrades menu here that we can spend our gold on. We could do... Max speed, max weight, let's see, what is our... Currently, our passengers, we can carry... Wow, 15, okay. I don't think we've come anywhere close to needing more than that at this time. So we'll just buy 
a couple of speed upgrades. Oh, requires gumball rank two. So, all right, I have to spend enough money on this gumball machine. We'll go ahead and buy another gumball, see what we get. I loved these kind of gumball machines as a kid. A park car. Interesting. Okay, so entertainment and passengers. I don't believe I've ever seen a train carrying around a park on it. That seems a little dangerous to me when you think about it. Unless it's gonna have, like, railings all the way around. Even so, you know. You never know when a kid is just gonna jump over the side of the train. Oh, look at that. There's even day and night cycles in this game. Very nice. Bartle do? What? I don't know what that was about. Bartle do. I guess there's not really a whole lot that you do in between the stations. This is actually a game that was ported from mobile, so uh, I mean, you can you can tell where the mobile portion of the game comes from, uh, but fortunately they took out all of the the microtransactions in this game. You do actually you do have to pay for it on Steam. But there are no microtransactions, no forcing you to wait for things outside of this whole, oh, I'm traveling from here to there. That seems like something I can't skip. Unless I am wrong, but the game certainly did not tell me I could skip that. Here's our list of passengers and the fares they're paying. The food is okay, nothing exciting. Fine. Well, I mean, people seem to be fairly happy with the food and comfort. Not so much with the utilities. But, let's see, where was it that we could change our fare prices? Oh, set ticket a price here. Nah. What, what's he say all the way up here? Passenger skeptical. Okay. Let's... No! I want to change it! Okay, phew. Let's put it to... Where was it at? 25 before? I thought I saw somebody was not paying that much to ride our train. Well, here we are in Trenton, New Jersey. Someone is not super satisfied with our ticket price. Well, too bad for them. I'm definitely going to check out the market everywhere we go and see if there's anything profitable. Sure, let's buy some paper because I think I saw... Somewhere down the line wants some paper. It's in high demand, which means we're probably likely to make more money from it in that town. But nothing else is anything that I've seen cities wanting right now. Alright, I will see you in Philadelphia! Okay, here we are in Philadelphia! I realize we did not actually upgrade our train with our little park guy that we got. Let's see. Sure, we'll put our park in the middle right here. I don't know what she just told me. I guess the fact that we're overweight. Only by 5%. We'll see what that does to us. Ooh, or we could potentially upgrade our train. Maximum weights. There we are. Did that do it for us? 88%. Fantastic. Check out the market. Sale of onions. Is that something I want to buy? I don't know. Let's double check our map here. See if anyone nearby wants onions. I don't know how often these change. But wouldn't hurt to keep a close look on them. Oh, this is a factory location. Meet the required resource demands and production will start for a unique car. Okay. It's unlocked by reaching 50% completion in the area. Factories are used to turn cargo into unique cars that can only be found at this location. Good to know. Alright. Doesn't look like I'm gonna want to buy anything from this market. Well, actually... Maybe it is a good idea to buy things that are on sale, just so that we can sell them in the next town for full price. 
So we'll do three onions and call it good. But yeah, anyway, so that is Tiny Rails for you. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please feel free to let me know in the comments below and I would be glad to make another video on this game or for as long as people enjoyed watching this. But uh, for now, that is going to do it. So thanks a lot for joining me, boys and berries. And until next time, stay foxy.